Hey guys, this is Leo from maperformance.com and today we are here to talk about fuel pumps. Specifically Walbro fuel pumps, when to upgrade, how to pick and install your fuel pumps. Call me at extension 107 and ask for fuel pump daddy. So Walbro is one of the most recognized brands when it comes to fuel supply. Whether it's a four cylinder, whether it's a V8, a V6, a flat four, it doesn't matter. Walbro has been out there since 1950 delivering all the fuel from OE applications to specialty applications. And it can get pretty confusing when you're picking between pumps. So I'm here to help you go over that. Keep in mind guys, we sell a wide variety of Walboro fuel pumps from the 255, which is this little guy, all the way up to the new 525 Hellcat. Our primary focus today is gonna be on the 400s and up, which is what you're gonna use for all of your 500 horsepower plus applications. <laughs> So for those of you guys making over 500 horsepower, we're gonna start talking about the Walbro 400. This is really the pump that started it all, okay? This is still commonly used on a lot of pump gas applications. However, now that we've got pumps like the 450 high and low pressure and the 525, the 400, which has a little bit of a longer body than the 450s, has been a little bit set to the wayside. However, still a pump that's used commonly on your pump gas applications. All right, so both the 450, which is this guy right here, and the 450 high pressure, both flow 450 liters per hour at a base pressure of 50 PSI. Both of these pumps are gonna support 500 plus on E85, which is gonna require more fuel, and up to 700 horsepower on pump gas. So the flow on both of these 450s is about the same until 80 PSI where the 450 high pressure pump is gonna keep going. At about 80, the standard 450 is gonna drop off, whereas this pump will carry you through all the way to 110 PSI. Next up, we've got my favorite pump, and that's gonna be the new Hellcat, also known as the 525. Now this pump is also known as the 470, because it flows 470 at its base pressure of 50 PSI. What makes this pump and the older style pumps different is that this has the newer dual channel turbine design, which is gonna get you optimal flow. This pump, the 470 or the Hellcat or the 525 is the pump designed for the guys running a constant pressure of about 70 to 100 PSI. Now the reason you're gonna wanna use this is because it's not gonna work as hard, meaning you're gonna get a longer extended life out of this pump compared to this. Now guys, I know you're probably thinking right about now, holy cow, that is a lot of information about fuel pumps. Which one should I pick? Well, I can tell you guys now that the most commonly selected pump is gonna be the 450 high pressure pump. This is good for ethanol based fuels and this is gonna be the most commonly selected pump people are gonna use on their modern turbocharged engines. So the 470, the 525, or as it's also known, the Hellcat pump is gonna be for the guys that need a little bit extra compared to the 450 high pressure. This pump is gonna support 650 plus horsepower on ethanol and 800 plus on pump gas. This is the perfect pump for the guys that are just a step behind jumping to a double pumper setup, also known as a dual pump. Obviously, when you pick a fuel pump, you're gonna to need to do a little bit of research and find out exactly the pressure that you're going to be running. What I mean by that is that the pressure at the base of this pump is gonna be different than the pressure at the regulator. You've got inline filters, you've got AN lines, you've got bends. That is all a place for the pressure to drop off at. So when you are picking these, be careful and make sure that you analyze exactly how much pressure is needed to supply your turbocharged four cylinder with enough fuel. 
450 and up pumps can sometimes supply a factory fuel system with too much pressure. What I mean by that is it can overrun the factory system and actually cause giant pressure spikes. So when you are picking a fuel pump and you don't exactly know what's gonna fit for you, make sure that you give one of our guys here a call and we'll be able to pick the perfect pump for your setup. Now that you've picked the best option for your fuel system, or you've called us, or you've read up on a forum, we're gonna go through exactly what you might need to install one of these Walbro fuel pumps in your modern turbocharged vehicle. So when you're installing one of your new 450s, you've got a couple different options. If you have a current aftermarket pump, a lot of these pumps are gonna be just plug and go. Otherwise, if you're looking to replace your factory pump, you have two separate options. You can either go with the pump and the pigtail kit, which makes this a pretty easy plug and go kind of situation, or you can go with the basic install kit and the hardwire adapter kit from Deechworks. The nice thing about this kit is that it actually allows you to get a full 12 volts directly to your fuel pump, making sure that you're not limiting your brand new aftermarket pump. So this hardwire kit includes a 30 amp inline fuse and a 40 amp relay. The reason you're gonna to wanna to use this is to be able to get a full 12 volts directly to your pump. Now, although this isn't a requirement, it's almost always something that we recommend with every aftermarket pump install, especially on vehicles that are 10 years old or even older. Now, a lot of these pumps are gonna fit in your factory hangers with little to no modification. However, for you Evo 10 guys out there and you rally art owners, we have a solution. And that solution is to run one of these larger pumps in your factory hanger. Now, in order to do so, you're gonna need one of our MA Performance billet fuel pump adapter pieces, as well as the supporting accessories that come in the kit. Cool, 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 cool. We're gonna go over exactly everything that uh, I said wrong. Now, hopefully guys, I've answered a majority of your questions in regards to Walbro fuel pumps, how they work, how you might install them, and the differences. But if I haven't, feel free to give me, Leo, at MA Performance a call or one of my amazing team members, and we will get you all squared away. Like, comment, and subscribe below, and let us know how you like your Walbro. And let us know what other crazy informational content you guys want us to release in 2019.